What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today on the chopping block is the Tough Built Electrician's Pouch. Um, this is a clip tech system, so this uh, little modular clip goes on your belt, and then you can clip in and out each of these pouches. So they make pouches for each of the trades. Um, I am testing this small electrician's pouch, and I have my doubts before we even get started um, because there's really no method to the madness on this pouch. So if you want to see what I have to say about it, well, stay tuned. All right, so like I said before, when I was first looking at this pouch, um, I was kind of wondering exactly how they expected you to set this up. So I've got an array of basic electrician's tools that you know I would use on a, on a basic service call or just troubleshooting in general. Nothing um, very expansive whatsoever. I mean, this is the small electrician's pouch after all. So I don't plan on just stuffing a bunch of crap into this, but it does still have to make sense. So first thing I thought of was some screwdrivers. So I have my 1000 volt Milwaukee screwdrivers, a Phillips flathead and the uh, proprietary little uh, star bit one that uh, is for electrical outlets. So I have three screwdrivers that I'm planning on putting in this. But after looking over the pouch, there is no uh, apparent place to even put screwdrivers. So do they, expect you to just cram them inside the main pouch here and set them up um, and just cram them in. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so you would usually have some nut drivers with you, probably a quarter inch and a 5 16 or maybe just an 11 in one multi-tool or multi-screwdriver uh, would be good for this pouch but there's no apparent place to put it. So of course, I think that every single um, electrical kit would not be, or electrician's pouch, would not be complete without a multimeter. So of course, I could stick the T5-600 in here, or I could use this. Um, I, man, it takes up a considerable amount of space in the pouch. Uh, and then I assume that if you don't hold the leads, you pull it out, it'll unravel itself. Not that big of a deal. Um, am I being critical on that part? Maybe. But now we, now we cram the screwdrivers down in beside it. Um, where do pliers go? So maybe behind here in this smaller pouch, maybe that's what they're for. Um, surely it can't be just for one pair of pliers. Let's put some diagonal cutters back here and some lineman's pliers back behind the meter here. <clears throat> I, well, maybe they'll go down in there further than that. Maybe my meter is fighting them. So maybe we'll put these down in here. Oh, they don't go any further than that. So they stick out a little ways. Okay, so just as I assumed that wire, it would pull the wires right off my meter. Um, I do like that it has a kickstand to it. Uh, and that it will set up on its own after you were to take it off your belt. Um, that's a cool little feature that I will go ahead and give you a thumbs up for. Um, but my main thought about this is an electrician did not design this little tool pouch. Uh, I'm not sure what these little hoops are for here on the side. Maybe some stuff that you would put a carabiner through. Uh, I don't need a tape measure uh, thing for a basic electrician's kit. Uh, maybe we can put the non-contact voltage tester here. Um, utility knife, maybe over here. Uh, we can shove it down in there. Uh, little screwdriver, little five in one. Um, just haphazardly place it in here. Let's try to put our strippers here in the front. I'm not sure what this, what this front pouch is supposed to be designed for. Um, it looks like it's a pass-through, so I'm not sure why you need a pass-through. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you would put in there. Um, if you guys have any idea what you would do with this kit, um, put it in the comments below. Uh, I 
I like this option because these are cheap. Uh, I think this one was $13.97 at Menards. They're sold at Home Depot, Menards, uh, Lowe's. They're pretty much everywhere and they're very, very uh, reasonable when it comes to price. But the overall design of the whole thing, the execution is just kind of poor. There's nowhere to like put screwdrivers. Um, this thing, what am I gonna do? Put 10 rolls of tape on here. Uh, I, I'll, I'll need this about three or four lengths shorter here. Um, we only need, you know, arguably four different uh, colors of electrical tape. So I really don't like that that thing's a mile long. Um, that's just something that I, I don't know. I don't like. Um, this side pouch over here, when I was goofing around with it, I don't even know what you would put in this side pouch and then close. Um, this side pouch is really, really shallow. Um, the voltage tester won't even go in there. So I can't get a voltage tester in there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is for. So, you know, although this is a cool design and the clip tech is decent and it comes in at an awesome price around $15, I'm not really impressed with it. Uh, it definitely could have a lot more uh, or better executed design. So that's just how I feel about it. Um, this is my first look at it. Uh, you know, I wish it had a carrying handle, um, just a stitched in carrying handle so I didn't always have to carry it on my belt loop. You know, uh, the, there's a reason why I haven't taken this tag off yet and it's, pretty much because I don't think I'm going to own this tool pouch. So, I mean, I like the other, I bought a couple more uh, pouches from Tough Built uh, and I'm going to try them out. The Clip Tech system seems to be a cool thing to do. Uh, and, you know, it's an awesome little feature, but I don't think this one's for me. Uh, it's just not set up for what I wanna do, so. Well now, hold on, I was <clears throat> just goofing around. I can't even get my non-voltage tester out of the pocket. What is going on with this thing? So, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna have to mess with that later. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's got some teeth behind here that grip it. You can see the yellow teeth that stick out. So that obviously can't go in that pocket. Um, it doesn't work there. Uh, it'll have to go somewhere else. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, overall disappointed with the execution of the design here, but the system seems cool. I will check out some other pouches. I will definitely review all the other pouches and maybe we'll put this into circulation, but this is going to be definitely something that needs a little bit more attention and needs a uh, maybe a better thought here so that I can use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Time to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you haven't clicked subscribe, click subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.